playing the piano at the Shandy Stage School in Brighton, part of the Academy of Performing Arts in Brighton. Andrew Cameron is the principal of the Shandy Stage School and he told me about the wide range of pupils. Six to 16, as a guideline, I think the youngest at the moment is seven. At the oldest, uh, we have two students who have stayed with us after the age of 16 because they haven't completed all their studies in the performing arts and their academic subjects. So there wasn't anywhere better for them to go to than here. So they stayed on here. singing, dancing and drama are certainly at their best at the school. That was Rebecca Lacey. But what about the academic work? Is it easy to combine the two? It's very simple, which is what I would like people to understand about a stage school or this particular stage school, because it is a normal private academic independent school. But where other schools would spend a time on woodwork, metalwork, rugby, computer studies, all those types of incidental things, we concentrate on the performing arts, which is dancing, drama, music, and modeling. So there's no time lost at all. They still get um, an education that you would expect from any other school. What about entrance? Do you actually require some kind of artistic background from the children? Only basically. There's not a standard they have to get to to pass an entrance into the school. I think that if I was, if I had a choice, that would be lovely. But I don't, and I also don't think it's quite fair because they do come at different ages. They, I started at 14. All of a sudden, that's what people want to do at 14 or 15, and they must be given a chance somewhere. Somewhere they've got to be given it. So they've got to be uh, very keen to do it. They've got to be uh, disciplined, have an, an excitement about themselves to put up with some of the um, hardships that they'd have. Some of them come from a long way off, Chichester, Eastbourne, Uckfield, and they have a lot of travelling to do. So they've got to have that, that very keen interest and ability, a certain amount of ability, to overcome it. So they looked on, they got an academic assessment, a performing arts assessment to see if they come up to a normal standard that they can benefit from the school and that we can benefit from them. Do you find that most of the children who do come want to be performers of one kind or another? Yes, they do. And it's not true that it's the parents that push them. The parents, in the end, come to the school, well, they've been going on at me for so long. Uh, that's, I think, in the majority of the cases. And they, uh, um, they're very keen to do it. Some of them, I think it's true to say that in the end, they realise they haven't got it. Uh, but they are steered in the right direction, whether it's um, um, in a bank. Someone went into a bank last year, well, that's fair enough. But they, again, I must stress that we don't believe they miss out academically. So if they go through that period where they want to be a, a superstar, find they're not, realise they don't even want to be, then They've got something to pull back. Do you find that children find out for themselves and you don't have the painful task of actually telling them? <laughs> yes, they, they do. I think the, the painful task is when they're still very keen, they have got something, but they don't know where to go. So you show them the direction where they should go, whether it's straight drama or whether it's uh, another college of education in London or something, and they still can't make up their minds. They still won't get up, walk out the door and phone people or write to people and, and gather more information than what we've given them. Right, so let's have a listen to some of those retiring teenagers in a drama class. Cat. 
One of the exercises this very lively bunch of girls performed for me. But of course, as Andrew Cameron admitted to me, it's not so easy to launch yourself on a career in the theatre. So those children need as much experience as possible. We give them enough to start off the basic skills in the whole theatre, which is why if they were a very strong ballet dancer, you know, and only a ballet dancer, I'm very good, I'd say, well, don't stay here. Go somewhere else where they concentrate on that more. And there are schools around. But because we give them the, the whole skills to then formulate an opinion of where they're best suited and to go and find somewhere. What exactly do you look for in potential pupils? An understanding of what they're letting themselves in for. An understanding that they're also going to have a, a certain amount of discipline amongst themselves, that they've got to discipline themselves to cope with what the school offers, that they have some ability there that we can improve on and that they are aware that the rest of the school are also going on the same lines. And how soon do you know if you've got somebody who's just a bit special, a bit more special than the others? I think I, I can tell within five minutes if somebody is special or whether they are hopeless or whether they're just fine, okay, and and you never know. Because most people you don't know. Even when they leave at 16, you still don't know what they're capable of and they don't. With dancing it's different, you have to start early. But you still don't know your potential until you're... you're and what willing. is it you see in those children that you think have something special? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I, it's the same as when you might go to a festival and you see come on, someone come on stage and say, they're good. And they ha they've hardly started. Mm, put it down to what you like. I'm sure people have got different words, charisma or, or technique, or, or, or just a, a gift of, of putting things over. And there are a couple of people that they are, they get into a, a mess backstage, they cry because their shoelaces come undone, or, or anything, they, they cry. They one step on stage and the face goes, and you wouldn't know at all. They, they just turn it on. Um, and they're, they're, they're not precocious, they are normal children, as normal as anybody. They just have a, a particular want, a feeling, into this area. And, that, and they, all they ask is for the chance to do it. Uh, people think that, you know, they, they must be precocious and brats. They're not. They're normal kids. And what about your successes? Have you been going long enough to <laughs> have some successes? <laughs> uh, yes. I think in a, as far as you would expect, in four years. I think we've been successful in the agency because they are, as part of their education, they are to gain experience in the professional world. And so we have a um, Mrs. Bull who works in the agency, very hard in there, getting work. And they do uh, the theatre around here. We've had um, two, um, Zoe and Glenn were in The Charmer on on Sunday nights, which is very successful. Uh, Drummond's series is probably one of the better successes, which Lisa had the main part in, in one series for that, and three others were in the same program. And they've done lots of different pieces in all aspects of modeling and fashion and TV and films and theater. I, I wouldn't say that we've got uh, a star yet. Um, haven't, they haven't left us long enough to become a star. But they've certainly got good training and, and, and done a lot of professional work. Um, Mr. Majika is a, another TV program. It's coming out, I think, March this year, which a lot of the children did with Stanley Baxter. They, they do professional work enough to keep them going, but not enough to think they're fantastic in the media, and not enough to make their academic work go down, which is very important. I think parents want to know that they are doing the work.
Now, if you'd like to have a look at that time step performed by Natasha, Lisa, Sarah, Bianca and Melissa, then uh, you might care to go along to the open day at the Shandy Stage School in Brighton. It's tomorrow between half past nine in the morning and half past seven in the evening. Thank you.